All right, so if you want to get loot as a solo player in the last raid, I'm gonna be going over that quickly here in this video now. Uh, you're gonna be able to do the first way I show you on any character, no matter what. And the second way that we're gonna do it, you can either do on both your Warlock and Titan. You can kind of do it on Hunter uh, with like Stasis and Warline Zero, but that is pretty complicated. Uh, and I'm trying to make this video for, you know, noobs who struggle to get raid loot and just don't have a group to do it with so i mean if you want to do it that way feel free i'm just uh, not gonna be doing that here in this video but once you load into the last wish raid we're gonna load into it and we're gonna go to the wish wall which if you don't know what that is i'm gonna show you that here quickly and explain what we're gonna have to do there so you're just gonna get some dialogue it's you know it'd be pretty boring just waiting and waiting for this little panel open but there it goes once that opens, I'm going to jump up into it. I jump up here. I go all the way around. Then we're going to jump up. Then we're just going to go right over here. Now, normally for this, what you would do is you'd go and start the raid. However, that is not what we're going to be doing. So normally you'd go through there, do the raid normally. However, with the wish wall strat, it makes it a... Uh, a lot easier to farm this, you don't have to do the whole raid, if this is kind of how you can solo it. So, just keep jump up here. Or keep jumping up here, I should say. Go right up here. It's a little tricky, but once you do it the first time, you'll get it every time. It's not that complicated. So, here is the wish wall. So, for example, let's say I shoot these, right? Well, that's not going to work. So when I step in the plate, it resets the whole thing. So you don't want to step on that plate unless you have the code put in correctly. Now, the first code that we're going to do is going to be the Shuro Chi one. So I'm going to show you that. This code right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this code and shoot it into the wish. Well, I'm not going to show you the whole thing, but I'll show you how the first couple works just so you uh, can know how to do it. So what we're going to do... By the way, you don't want to use anything with like ricochet rounds, explosive payload, or anything like that that will hit more than one panel at once because it will mess the other ones up. So what we're going to do, I usually just shoot all four of them. The ones that I need to uh, keep changing. That way I know. And for sure, she, we should all accept that one right there. So in order to change a symbol, you just shoot. And what you do, you just keep shooting until the code that you need is in the location so for this one we need the bird with the wings which i know it's a little confusing uh but you'll get it so that one right there and now if we keep shooting i'm just gonna do this as an example let's say we miss it right you don't need to step in the panel to reset all of them just keep shooting it and it will go blank again you can reset it that way you don't need to step in that just to reset one of them uh but it's basically how it works i usually like to do you know two at once make it go a lot quicker but for the sake of this video just Especially if you're new, just do one at a time or two at a time. Don't try to speed run it. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to put the code in. I'm not going to show it in this video because it's going to take too long. Alright, so once we have the code in, once again, uh, what I always do is I double check each symbol to make sure that I have it matched with the picture. Otherwise, it's not going to work. So I always double check just in case because I want to have to put this whole thing in again. It takes about like five minutes. It's not the end of the world, but yeah, you still don't want to have to do it over again. It's just a waste of time doing it over. Yeah, everything looks good. So what we're going to do is we're going to step on the plate once we're done. And what should happen is we should teleport. Alright, so if we put the code in, we do get teleported to the Shiro Chi boss room. And what we normally would do is you would go through that room right there. However, what we're going to do is we're going to go for the chest. So you're just going to follow the path that I take. Uh, it's not too, too hard, to be honest. It's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Uh, the ultimate goal is if you have someone to do this with i definitely recommend that you have a buddy join just so that way you can get the chest on all three characters uh at once instead of having to put the code in all three times but if you don't unfortunately you are gonna have to put this code in three times for each character but if you want to get to raid dude that's just how it is especially as a solo player but it's not too bad the code only takes like five minutes to put in it's really not the end of the world it just is a little annoying so just keep following the path that I take. Gonna go right over here. And this jump is a little tricky. What we're just gonna do is we're gonna jump down. And here is the chest right here. 
And as you can see, actually, I got a Nation of the Beast. Okay. I went to the Postmaster, of course. But yeah, there it is. I got a Nation of the Beast, so I'm content with that. That is the hand cannon. So we can either do, like I said, one of two things. Have a buddy join and do this on the other two characters. And then have your buddy do it as well. Just have them change characters and get the chest on all three characters three times in one run. Or just put the code in three times. It's totally up to you. Uh, so what we're going to do now is we're going to head back to the Wish Well. And I'm going to show you a, another way to farm chest in a different encounter. And for this way, you are going to need either a Warlock or a Titan. Hunter, unfortunately, is not going to work for this one. Unless you are really good at the stasis movement thing. But, like I said, I'm not a pro that I don't have, like a, uh, I don't have a bind set for it yet. So, yeah, we're going to do that really quickly. And I'm going to show you what code you need to put in for that as well. Alright, so the next wish we're going to be doing is the Morgoth wish. So, if you want to screenshot this right here, uh, feel free. But if not, like I said earlier, I'm going to have a link for all these codes in the description below if you want to use that. Probably be a lot easier. But it's totally up to you. So what I'm going to do again is I'm quickly going to put this code in it to the wish wall. I'm not going to show the whole thing because it just takes too long. And by now, you probably know how to do it anyway. So I will see you all when we teleport to Morgoth. All right. So once we teleport to Morgoth, what we're going to do is just to make this faster. I'm going to pop a raid banner, but you don't need to do this. You could wait for your super if you really want to you know, save your raid banners. But for the sake of the video, I'm just going to pop it. So for a Warlock, what I'm going to do really quickly is I'm going to make it across on Warlock and then I'm going to change it to my Titan and then I'm going to show you the path for the chest that is over there. But to make it over on Warlock, all we're going to do, you don't need to pop your Heat Rises, you don't need it. I just do it because it's easier. You're going to pop your Daybreak, which is top three solar. You definitely want to use that for this, otherwise you're not going to make it. But yeah, what we're going to do is we're just going to keep dashing. Basically, it's pretty easy. Not hard at all. And yeah, there it is. We have made it on a Warlock. So what I'm going to do really quickly is I'm going to switch over to my Titan. And I'm going to make it across on that. And then I'm going to show you the final path that you need to take in order to get to the chest. So what I've done is I have actually gone on my Titan. And what we're going to do for this is you are going to need a sword. As well as the exotic Lion Rampants. What this does is it allows you to fly across from here all the way to over there. I actually had some buddies join really quickly so I could do this on my Titan for the video. So what we're going to do, you don't know how to Titan fly. You just basically double tap your jump key. And you just swing your sword shortly after. You don't know how to do it. Uh, it will take a little bit of practice. I have a video on how it works that I'll also link in the description below. Um, the only thing you got to watch out for when you do this is that... Uh, turn back thing Or the out of bounds, whatever it was even saying all right, and once you make it across uh, Over here after we land, uh, I'm gonna show you a pretty easy path that you can take It makes it pretty easy. I'm gonna show golden gamer where it is As well while I'm doing it So when we go here What we can do is we can just kind of jump up Makes it a little easier. So if you want, you can just kind of climb this tree, take advantage of it, jump up, and then jump up again. And what we're going to do, we're going to get the chest right here. Now, I already opened it on my Titan, so I'm going to let them get it as well. And there it is. Uh, so once you make it across on both your Warlock and Titan, just open that chest. I just didn't show me opening on Warlock because I just want to show the path on time to make it easier. Uh, but that's going to be it for this video. If it did help, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one, alright? Peace.